My past career I spent as a senior painting specialist at Christie's in New York and London. All my interiors are viewed through the prism of art history or a piece of art or an art movement. So one of the art periods I was inspired by was the aesthetic movement of the late 19th century in England. One of the things that I needed to do is bring the 19th century into the 21st century to make it relevant for today's audience. One of the things that inspired me was Whistler's Peacock Room in Washington, D.C. So what I wanted to convey here with the help of my friends and artists at MJ Atelier in Los Angeles was to present a deconstructed peacock in the staircase that would wrap around the stairway wall from the first landing all the way down. MJ Atelier had this huge canvas, which is about 10 feet by 20 feet. They primed it with blue paint and then modeled all these peacock feathers in gesso, covered it with 23 karat white and yellow gold. In my collaboration with the rug company, we designed a rug with waterfall down the stairs and then puddle in the middle of the room right underneath the skylight. One of the things that I wanted to do in the space was to take advantage of the semicircle in the ceiling and to have beads of white and yellow gold glitter and radiate along the ceiling and drip down the walls to add interest and diffract light in an otherwise very dark space. Furthermore, I added and gilded the rivets along the door frames and the side of the staircase in order to tie the whole space together. I don't decorate period rooms. What I do is bring and freshen historical elements for the 21st century client. Mine is a contemporary take on classic interiors. In this 19th century inspired space, I brought this lovely black enameled console that fit in the space perfectly, as well as this wonderful mirror and sconces from contemporary artists and artisans uh, of today. That I don't like to be very matchy-matchy, to bring the same thing from the same period with this wonderful photo by Robert Polidori, is to bring something that worked with the rest of the room, meaning this circular motif of the dots of the pillows of the rugs. I wanted to show people that they can put a piece of serious art on top of textured wallpaper, as long as the wallpaper does not zap the energy out of painting. People that can decorate a space under the staircase that can actually be livable. I placed a lacquer screen from a French artist of the 1940s to add some height and interest under the stairs. Same thing I did with this wonderful sculptural lamp by Apparatus was to not only mimic the birds on the screen, but to add some interest sculpturally in this area. The superb contemporary chair by Achilles Salvagni has this lovely bowed back that relates to the incredible swoop of the home's dramatic staircase. I hope this has provided some insight into my design process for the space.